Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kassad-Kinanti, you're watching the latest economic calendar on Insta TV. On Thursday and Friday, the following economic events able to shape market sentiment will be revealed. On Thursday, Canada will publish its GDP report for June. Analysts suppose that a monthly growth will be 0.1% and an annual increase will make up 4.1%. In May, Canada's gross domestic product rose by 0.6% on a monthly basis. Experts had projected a mere increase of 0.2%. The Canadian economy has showed expansion for the seventh month in a row. In comparison with May 2016, the country's GDP grew by 4.6%. Supported by the energy sector, the economic growth in May beat expectations. The industrial production advanced by 1.6% amid a higher minerals, oil and gas production. Thanks to financial and insurance enterprises, the services sector expanded by 0.2%. On Friday, the United Kingdom will deliver its manufacturing PMI data for July. According to forecasts, the indicator will edge lower to 55 points. In July, the Purchasing Managers Index for the UK manufacturing sector climbed to 55.1 from 54.2 in June. Business activity growth exceeded forecasts of a slower increase to 54.4 in the given period. On Friday, the United States will report on its employment and jobless rate for August. The U.S. economy is expected to create 180,000 new vacancies. Analysts anticipate that unemployment will remain at 4.3%. In July, the U.S. economy generated 209,000 new jobs after an increase of 231,000 positions in the previous month. The growth pace exceeded market expectations greatly. Experts had projected 183,000 new vacancies in the given period. Meanwhile, the U.S. unemployment rate dropped to 4.3% in July from 4.4% in June. The average hourly earnings increased by 0.3% to $26.36 on a monthly basis. In addition to these reports, market participants will also pay attention to the following events. On Thursday, China will deliver its date on manufacturing and services business activity. Australia will report on its private capital expenditure. Preliminary inflation data and retail sales statistics will see the light of day in the Eurozone and Germany, respectively. The United States will unveil its unemployment claims reports. On Friday, China will publish its Taishin Manufacturing PMI. The Institute for Supply Management will reveal its data on the U.S. manufacturing business activity. And this concludes the calendar of the latest financial events on InstaTV. Thanks for watching and have a nice trading day. Bye.